Como é que é pessoal aqui com vocês é casar e sejam muito bem-vindos a este fantástico jogo que é o Red Dead Redemption 2. No último episódio, pá, encontramos o Charles, andava a lutar pelas ruas de Saint Denis. Uh, encontramos o, o Charles, que, nos, que, se juntou, que se juntou a nós e ao tio. Uh, tivemos também uma miss... Olha agora, queres ver? Está ah, certo. Uh, também tivemos uma missão com a Sadie, uh, onde fomos recuperar um invadido, um gajo que estava a ser procurado, vá, pela lei, uh, pela, pela, pela polícia, uh, que ela já o tinha capturado, mas entretanto houve outros caçadores de recompensas que, que lhe tiraram os das mãos. Um, e então fomos recuperar o gajo desses, desses tais indivíduos. Uh, entregamos-o na prisão e ficamos com o nosso episódio feito, uh, uh, ou seja, esse último episódio ficou por aí. Hoje vamos fazer o quê? Ora, hoje nós tínhamos o quê para fazer? O que é que temos aqui? Albert Cakes. Ah, tínhamos que ir construir a nossa casa, porque também deitamos a nossa barraca, que aquilo sim é uma barraca, deitamos a barraca abaixo e então tínhamos que ir construir a nossa casa, tínhamos que ir apanhar materiais. Uh... Onde é que está o meu cavalo? Está ali. E o meu lindo, lindo é ego, não é cavalo. E dar só uma limpezazinha. Claro, já sabem como é que é. Uma limpezazinha à minha égua. Maravilha. Dar aqui uma vestinha. E dar aqui qualquer coisa para comer. O que é que temos aqui para lhe dar? Ah, podemos dar isto. Ok. Está maravilha. Pronto, vamos lá então ao Cakes. Não sei como é que o gajo chama-se Cakes. E vamos ver então o que é que o gajo tem para lá para... Para nós de casas, não é? Porque vamos construir uma casa no fundo. Então, há filas aqui agora. Correto. Por aqui. Aqui é a estação do comboio, certo? Ai, é aqui. Ok. Tem que amarrar o nosso cavalinho. Maravilha. E vamos então ver o que é que se passa para aqui. Ok. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know. Yeah. Tell me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? Aí vamos escolher uma casa. Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? Yeah, I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we oh, have that one escolha, escolha oh, assim a parva. Credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. Albert Cake. Oui. You boys give me a minute. Oh. Aí aquilo é a madeira para construir a casa. Boa. Okay? Casas pré-fabricadas. Sure. Já existia nesta altura, pessoal. The fellow came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Irmão Lost Skinner. I left uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. What? Their skin is about. We need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir? 
Good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle then? No, no, no. It deals real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. Well done. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. <laughs> yeah, I've got this days. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. No? Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun mm -hmm. messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Jaguns. I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Nada, eu não percebo nada disso. Not much, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, no do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. Sim. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns behind, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. Yeah. What? No, wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary. I'll put the publicity on the horses. Oh, guys. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. Hey, man, tu falas é demais. Não sei por que Living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Hey. I was about to tell you. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. Pronto. Chopping wood, mending the roof. Putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. Bem, este gajo é um chato do caraças, amor. Real good up here. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Ai, quero ver. Eu quero ver o que é que me vais defender. Porque está mesmo a preparar para sermos atacados. Estou mesmo a ver. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. And he knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. This is the spot. Just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Hey, you're coming too. Pronto. Come on, Tom. Buy your tools, John. I want to get out of here. Okay. Like I said, Nils is a an acquired taste. Hey. Let me do the talking. Tell you. There he is, working away. Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. Mando. You off someplace, Mills? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can get it. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Features hope. Hey. Right. They've been Bottom. trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it. Yeah, as a two fellas are pelos cotos. Yes. Wait, wait. What the fuck? Oh shit! Everyone, find some cover. Tavera. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. Oh. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. Fuck. All right. Send him. Charles, come on. Você acha um macaco ou quê? Acá está. Acá está. The hell? Oh! O que está a disparar para mim? Onde é que eles estão, meu? Estão ali! Onde é que estás? Oh! Onde meu, eu não o vejo. Ah, fuck. Sou cego ou quê? Olha o gajo. Porra, parece um. Hein? Ainda mais. Yeah. Oh. 
Shut up, Bulga Zose. Where's Wade? So over. It's too quiet. Mr. Wade! For a key. Charles, I found the tools. Hamantas, whoa. Where's Mr. Oh. Oh shit. All right. Hey, um caras. Jesus. We got to move fast. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. Back to the road. Estes gajos não estão para brincadeiras, mano. Onyx. Yeah. Era uma tirada do caraças, que era o maior do mundo. E depois é o primeiro a morrer. Então, Zé, vens? Não? Hello? Não sei onde é que tu estás. Ah, já vais aí, porra! John, we've lost one man Can we keep bora, 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 bora! Estava à tua procura! Coloque ele na carroça de trás. Matiz! Vamos sair daqui! Eu vou onde? Ok, tu vais aí, eu vou aqui. Ainda está vivo. Oh não, está vivo. Como... Ele estava espatado, estava empalado ali no. Ok. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Siga. E vem por. Yeah. Bem, foi aqui bem pertinho do meu stamina. Como é que é? Rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No, not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan a few months back. Massacred. Okay. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, uh, Uncle! Uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. That was that was the new show. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm okay, fairly sure we've such... shared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. Thanks. If I had to contact with you, I'd have been fucked. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Abigail.
é construir a casa e trazê-la. Empreste-me banca aí, Jesus. Vou ficar sem dinheiro, não? Vou assim naquela. Pois, faz bom. Uh, ir onde? Ah, deixa-me ver só aqui o que é que eu tenho aqui de... Tenho comida. Bem, quatro, quatro... Está bem. Já estou bem, comidas. O que é que eu tenho para ali? O tio? Este presunto quer. Os planos fazem algum sentido? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. Uma nova Jerusalém. Mas eu vou dizer o que eu acho, apenas para ser seguro. Bem fixe, a casita. Eu vou fazer a reading e planning. E claro, então, o trabalho já está quieto. Pois é, então. Eu não sei, você tenta de fazer algo de fazer algo. Pois é, então. Isso é completamente desfile. É inacurado e não é o que vai acontecer. Eu vou simplesmente usar o que eu tenho, que é a cabeça. Eu vou usar o que você tem, que é menos de uma cabeça. Vamos começar. Bem, a primeira coisa que diz a fundação, que envolve esses joelhos pesados. Definitivamente não é um trabalho para um homem com um homem terminal lombago. Se você quiser uma hole de 6 foto de profundo para mim, quando o meu trabalho é acabado. Não me tente. Aqui vem o Charles. Talvez ele possa alterar o mood um pouco. Como você chegou? Ele vai voltar, mas... Not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. Yeah, man, that's how He's right. We should get on with this. What the fuck? Muy fish. Muito fixe mesmo. E eu tinha sentado, claro. Passarinho ali, é muito bacana. Well, let me have a rule of the saw in a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together In the snow or the rain or the ice ah, cold wind fixe. whenever No matter Olha, no what the weather We're together O passarinho está sempre lá a controlar. Já temos casa com lareira e o caraças. Só sabe mandar. Agora trabalhar está aqui. Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together 
In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind Whenever, no matter Any weather, we're together <laughs> wow, brutal. And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. Yeah. So do you. Oh, I know. Pois <laughs> então. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy Spetáculo. home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. Yep. <laughs> Olha, escrever uma carta. My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful. In his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Poucos dias depois, Cowboy Builder, troféu conquistado. Espetáculo. Muito bom. E o passarinho continua ali. Eu pensei que você estava... Onde é que está? Agora vou. Ok. Uh... Não é isso que eu quero. É isto? Tio. O que é que este tio quer? O que é que o tio agora vai querer? Oh. Cavalo. Onde é que o tio... Onde é que ele está? Ali em cima? Estava aqui perto, escusava de ter vindo a cavalo, não é uma verdade. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So, that when you're old and facing death, I can be some... Two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. 
This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but I mean, they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. <laughs> oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. In the black water. Let's go. Hello. Até a madeira em black water. Correto. Now this fella probably saw you. Thought here's some corn husk idiot. Some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I got to respect him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Uh. I might actually do this on my own. No. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Am I verdad? Vai mesmo comprar o que? Um celeiro? Bom, te ficou. Era aqui? Não, não. Era aqui. This is him. É. How's little Emily? Emily. Emily. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're going to farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut right, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. Cada trofeo das ideias, o outro também. Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and. I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but this man <laughs> is very annoying. No. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I, John! No, Sadie. Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? Yeah. I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I'm... You up for a fight? Is it legal? 
Oh, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. So you, go. it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. Yeah. All right, then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower. Oh, I the mother of the city. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay. I'll follow you. Eh? Pronto. Vamos caçar mais alguém? The painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking fella hanging around. So damn! Can we go now? Mandar <laughs> parar. A brandar eu brandei. Ramon Cortez is around those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Okay. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Ooh. Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. Yeah. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation, but it's something to behold. If oh, you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice. Yeah. Learn what I heard about him. Got a hold of this fella I'd hire. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not. I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. Yeah. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. Oh, you know, that it good. sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Está muito fixe isto. Mesmo uh, os diálogos que eles têm, está tá muito bacana. Boas, tudo bem? Bem, pessoal, estamos a chegar. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Espera aí. Carga de cavalo. Posso levar? Não interessa. 
No. In the slider. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. I'll earn it. Okay. Investigo the slider. Oh shit. We've come for you. Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. Oh, fuck. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. Yeah. That's about right. Come on. Yeah, that's him. Come on, let's get him to the sheriff. Tanta coisa até foi fácil. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. Mm. We're going to Rhodes. 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 It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Dewberry Creek. I'll be you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Front for me, will you? Yeah. them ready for you. Então, marras isso ou não? Calma, calma, calma. Olha, agora não consigo sair daqui. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. Yeah. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever oh, one of you to be free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Don't Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. Isto é assim, agora ficamos aqui à espera. Isto vai dar merda, não é? Isto vai dar porcaria. É que só pode. Claro. Aí está, claro. É ver logo que isto a dar. Ia dar treta. Del Lobo. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. Del Lobo. Oh. 
Oh shit, rebentaram com a prisão. Pois, então. Tô... Tava... O quê? Para cá saiu onde? Autoridades foram alertadas? Como assim? Não estou a perceber. Carreio? O que é que se passou aqui? Porque o gajo não podia fugir, era? Bem, não sei, não tenho o meu. Não tenho o meu chapéu. Não percebi porque é que. Aliás, percebi. Eu skipei o. Um... Eu skipei a cutscene e então deu, deu bosta. Mas pronto. Enfim. O sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Grays and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's hey. a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. Yes, it's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take yeah. $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. Yeah. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. 
Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope <laughs> on anyone. Yeah. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Agora vou encontrar o outro burro Hold up. Hã? Down there. Uh. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Okay. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Como é que ela vai? Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. Okay. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take. Ta ta ta. Okay. Good look at him before we do anything. Aí o meu. Meu boné. Não. Não tenho. Desapareceu. Come on. Vou ir. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Okay. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. No that's they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Bem, vamos lá ver se a gente aqui acerta. This is my show, John Marston. Okay. Do as you're goddamn told. Senhora. And shoot well. Hmm. Acho que é isso. Todos não morrem. Onde é que eles estão? Estão ali.
je vais, je... Ah, larga isso, mano. Verada. Não mato. Get out of there! <laughs> I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <laughs> hey, look out. There's more of them. Oh, shit. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down oh. now! Just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems ah. Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Hey. What the fuck? Stow him and we can go. Oh. Lucara? It's my show, remember? You do the heavy lifting. Quick, come on! Here, come on! Get him on a horse. We Calma, o gajo não quer. Ei, pá, ao menos agora deu a volta. Ah, não é mal. Okay, let's go. Bora. I'm back, girl. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. The De Lobos will not forgive like, um, this. Probably. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will kill you, you, and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Yeah, I don't know. Money. My sympathy. Take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? <laughs> I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Yeah. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, 
I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Cinco mil dólares. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Yeah. Because you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Well, you. I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. I <laughs> kick <risos> e é assim pessoal, tivemos ali uma lutazinha valente só para capturar este gajo. Este gajo estava tá, complicado. Pô, arrebentaram com a prisão e o caraças. Vamos lá ver se o xerife agora nos paga. Isso é que eu quero saber. Ainda estão aqui espalhados. É onde mesmo? Aqui? Big mistake. Real big mistake. Tirar. É para onde, filha? É por aí? É. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. You just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. Yeah. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus seventy-five dollars. Exactly. Now goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. <laughs> this? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. Yeah. If you say so. See you around, partner. E parece que estamos de volta ao nosso estaminé, à nossa casinha. Isto já é o armazém, lá o... Como que era essas porra? Barra a cavalo. É, mas já temos ali o nosso... Olha, vínculo de cavalo aumentado, boa. Já temos ali o nosso... Como é que se chama? Pá, esquece o meu nome. O nosso armazém, o nosso... O nosso não é estábulo, não é estábulo, mas enfim. De resto, vamos ficando por aqui, pessoal. Já está um episódio longuíssimo. Uh, pá, andamos aqui a ajudar outra vez a Sadie. Tivemos... Tivemos aí buscar umas ferramentas logo ao início para construir a casa. Uh, pá, foi um cargo de trabalhos que os Skinners atacaram-nos. E ainda mataram um, um gajo que a gente contratou para, para nos uh, guardar as costas, vamos chamar assim. E um, que era um fala barato e no entanto morreu. Uh, depois fomos pedir mais um empréstimo aqui ao, ao banco para poder fazer ali o, o armazém. O... Epá, não, não, não me lembro agora, não me vem a ideia o nome. Um, de resto, tivemos depois a, com a Saidi a capturar mais um indivíduo que andava procurado, o Ramon, e, e recebemos mais um, e vamos receber mais um dinheirinho, acho que ainda não recebeu, mais um dinheirinho para, que vai diretamente para o banco, claro que estas dívidas, bancos, é tudo igual. 
Uh, de resto foi o episódio 2 pessoal, espero que tenham gostado não se esqueçam, já sabem como é que é subscrevam se não são subscritos deixem o vosso like e até à próxima <música>